What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of our Lies of P playthrough. If you missed the last episode, you missed a pretty funny episode. At the end of it, we got to the the Fire King robot boss, whatever his name was, in the factory for Vanini. Uh, and it was finally our first real Souls-like experience with a boss in this game. It took me about 25 tries to beat him. I, I struggled on the second phase getting the timing right, which is good. It's great. I love that, that the bosses became a challenge the first two in the game we actually one shot which was kind of surprising so this one was definitely a challenge if you watch the video i did do it like a jump speed cut to show you guys that we did do that many but i didn't want you guys to sit through like 30 40 minutes of gameplay of me just failing so a little fun little we showed you the first full attempt then we showed you the, f the full final attempt and a whole bunch of like just laughable stuff in between so uh pretty funny we made it through there I did just quickly go back to the hotel and talk with a few people to see if we had a new quest. I didn't get any new quests, so I just went through the tunnel after the boss to see if there was somebody here to talk to, and there isn't. So we're just going to progress through here, starting with whatever is ahead of us. I'm not sure if this is the way to go. There is no quest log, uh, and we'll just kind of see. Um, there was a bunch of lore and stuff that I don't want to sit you guys through. If you're interested in that, you can you can look up somebody who reads everything and listens to everything. But there's a lot of stuff at the hotel that's kind of just lore dump. Um, whoa, this looks really freaking cool. I quickly went left here and died, but I have not been to this part. This is all new. Oh, hey, bud. So we're getting some new area. Clearly, this is something. I have no idea if this is the right way to go. I guess we'll just quickly find out. I heard somebody to my... Oh, there's a lot of guys. This guy's just a thrower, so... Ooh, double kill. Hey, bud. Ooh. That guy just... That guy just timed that perfectly. Holy jumpins. Oh. Uh, put that out. So yeah, the only other thing we got from Vanini after all of his dialogue was we did get a new arm. It's like a flamethrower arm. It is pretty solid. I actually really like it. I haven't been able to use it, but it does look really cool. Um, this looks like it'll break. You try it. What? I thought that for sure would break. That's 100% going to break if I stand on it. I'm going to go back the way I went initially when I just quickly was exploring. Oh. These pitchfork guys are actually pretty hard to deal with. They, uh, they kind of get you in a stun lock. So yeah, I just went this way to see if there was a guy crossed over here and there isn't. So like I said, I've heard some criticism about the lack of a, of a quest log. I, I don't think it's necessarily needed for a game like this. It would be nice, obviously. Um, so this is where I got to. I, I have no idea. That is so freaking... I didn't even notice that. So there's a dude there. Can you come over here so I don't have to fight? Oh, nope. I have to fight both of you. Oh, jeez. All right. I was able to kill him this time. Yeah, that's... I'm guessing we're going the right way. I mean, this looks like it's it's a cool little village. Whoa. See a guy in there. I'm guessing I have to go around to get this. I see another guy in that corner. This might be a tough little fight in this area. I don't think I really have anything that can... I do have a saw blade. Saw blade's not bad. What do we got here? We gotta find a merchant. I haven't found a merchant in so long. It's been literally forever since I've... What? He can still throw? Can you come this way? Wait, is he healing? He is. If I can lure this guy out, then I'll make the other guys potentially. Okay. What about you? Can I throw a saw at you? That is so cool. 
I did not know the saw would be that neat. Nope. You can come over here too. Come on. So he's going to get that little bit of health left. Come on. Come on. Oh. I just got closed in, I think. Oh, boy. Okay, I totally thought once that gate closed, there was going to be more people. <laughs> there's a guy in there. Oh, there's two guys. All right, we're vibing now. Saw blades. That's actually such a good thing. I did not know that's how it worked. I tried using it against a boss once, and it really didn't do a lot. That is nice. Cool. What do we got here? A workshop union standard corrosive resistant converter. God, that's a mouthful. Okay. Can I not, like, cut through there? Guess not. Wait, how do we get out of here, though? Pull lever. There we go. I keep forgetting that I have a really cool flame burge, uh, flamethrower arm now. I gotta start using it. I love the atmosphere. This is phenomenal. As always, guys, make sure you click that subscription button. Click the notification bell when we go uh, live with new videos. There is so much content coming out in the next few uh, months, really. There's about five or six games coming out between now and the end of October. We're going to be checking out all of them, so you're not going to want to miss a video. I appreciate all the love and support recently on the videos. Starfield was a lot of fun. There's one more video to go live for that to finish it off. Then we have this. Oh, hey. Are you friendly? Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. Oh, I good. still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. Forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Oh. Are you a stalker? Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, I can only say do nothing. You've been warned, child. I am a sinner who could not save the ones I loved. If I let you go up there, that will only compound my sin. Even if it hurts, persevere, my child. Having only one leg and one arm should curb your curiosity. Wait, am I gonna have to fight you? Yep. Child. Oh, ow. All right, we'll come down here. Let's. Whoa, we had the same move. Oh, I'm out of stamina. This is not good. This is not good for the program. You'll soon find out. Falling down here is better than devouring Aww. Terra above. Sorry, child. How do I... Huh. I feel like that is a pretty gnarly boss to fight with that so far back. But now we know she's there. I feel like, yeah, I'm going to have to skip a lot of these these guys to fight her. I figured we'd probably have to fight her based on what she was saying. She's like, you can never go here, ever. <laughs> I'm just going to book it through some of this. And we'll hopefully go in with more than half HP and one health pot. I could have played that a little better. I got a little greedy with some of the attacks. I didn't think she would be that quick with that big of a weapon, but now we know. Also, my flame barge did literally nothing to her. So 
So I guess we can just dodge that house that's up here, yeah? That probably makes the most sense. We have a thermite we can use against her. We have a saw blade we can use against her. We just don't need to go in there. We already got everything out of there anyway. So we should just be able to try this again. Question is, do I have to talk to her or can I just go straight in for the kill? Nope, we can go straight in for the kill. Stagger meter up. You'll soon find out. Falling down here is better than devouring terror above. There we go. Hello? I don't understand the back thing sometimes. It's fine, we got her. Maybe? Cable, railway key, the atoned mask. That mask is pretty cool. Should we wear a mask finally? I haven't really used a mask up until this point, but I actually kind of like... Okay, it kind of looks stupid on my guy. Uh, you know what? Let's wear it. We might need it up there. We might need all the help we can get up there. It looks way cooler when she had her, her like dark outfit on there. All right, we did it. Let's head up to the church, is what she called it. Whatever it was, cathedral. Oh man, I love this kind of stuff. This is so cool. Yeah, that um, that grindstone with the uh, uh, um, ladies shock on it is really good. Welcome aboard the Pilgrim's Cable Railway. Now, those of you who joined us in Moonlight Town, we hope your preparations for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight. Just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. I kid, I kid. Frangelica, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, <laughs> the Bridge of Atonement. While you Bridge of Atonement? There, oh, don't God. Miss a magnificent view of beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! <laughs> well, not bad, huh? Oh, uh, Gemini's great. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> So I feel like we're going the right way. You look annoyed. Nah, that was good, Jiminy. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. I like Jiminy. Do you see that over there? I recognize dead puppets. That's to be expected. But what is that? What am I looking at here? All I know is this is Stargazer, so we're definitely gonna use this bad boy. Make sure we've saved it first and foremost. Don't really have too much to upgrade with. Uh oh. Oh god. What the f. Uh, no idea what those things are, pal. Approach with caution. It's a freaking zone! Oh god! Why do they have to move fast? Those are always the scariest type of zombies are the ones that move fast. It's not a puppet? Is that what he was saying? It's not really a puppet? What the hell is it then? So many moonstones, so we'll be able to upgrade once we go back. Hey, hey Creepazoid. They look really creepy. 
Whoa, they're like glitching out up there. This is a phenomenal atmosphere. So different from crap. Come on. What the hell are they? Yeah, they're like zombies. What the heck? Repair tool, nice. I haven't really needed a repair tool too much. I feel like they give you a little bit too much of the urgent ones. Oh, you look a little bit bigger. Or do you? Hey, dude. That's gonna totally break. This is totally gonna break. I already know this is gonna break, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very, uh, it's pretty obvious when those things are gonna break. I actually kind of wish that they hid them a little bit more. They like bleed blue, like it's not oil. They are definitely not puppets. That is 100% accurate. Very creepy. Very, very creepy. I like the diversity, though. I like that there's different enemies based on where you are in the world. Because it could have been very easy to just been like, everything is a puppet. All right, we're getting closer to this big ass church thing. What is happening? Uh, you tell What's me. What's their problem? I like, like how it crickets when he talks. Bodies are strangely altered. I don't know what's going on, but keep those eyes of yours open. Yep. Ah, this game is phenomenal. This is actually so fun. Oh, hey, dude. Sawtooth wheel. I don't really use the sawtooth wheel. It's like supposed to pull people's like attention away, but like there's not really, you can't crouch. You can't sneak really. I guess some people would Whoa. Some people might prefer to play that. Woman's prayer. God, I pray with all my heart. Please withdraw your wrath from Krat. So praying to stop whatever's happening. Prayer. Who are you exhausted and injured? You who are exhausted and injured. Okay. Is there a way through this way? Because I feel like this is probably the way to go. Fire, fire abrasive. Nice. So we have the shock... One attached to our grind, grids, whatever the thing, grindstone. That's what I'm looking for. This is just another way around, it looks like. Ooh, no, this is leading me somewhere. A little crypt. Oh, hey. What's up? Are you friendly? Please be a merchant. Ah, mercy, I beg you, don't kill me. <sighs> I thought you were from the organization. Uh, never mind. My name is Janjo. I'm an alk- uh, a pharmacist. Yes, pharmacist. I'm looking for the legendary gold coin fruit. I was able to use medicine to slow the infection spread. I have the petrification disease and I need a cure. Sorry, I ramble when I'm nervous. Read this. It'll explain things faster than I can. Okay. Let's read this. Guillemar's Maze Ballad. Guillemé, the King's Knight, found the shining tree on the Rocky Mountain. The tree's fruit resembles gold coins, and this fruit is a miraculous blessing. For many people who have recovered from different diseases and who have been able to escape the plague, the elated knight built a castle and called himself the Holy Knight. But remember, sojourners, miracles always have a price, no matter how captivating they may be. M many substances can be poisonous. The precise dose is what separates medicine from poison. The gold coin fruit might just be a myth. But in the midst of an epidemic, it might be our salvation. 
So we're looking for a gold Can coin fruit or a gold fruit it? coin. One of the two. I'll give you this by way of payment. All right, sick. So he gave me a cube. People of ancient. Okay, it's a wish stone. There are various kinds of wish stones which can be equipped to cubes. Using cubes consumes wish stones. You can equip a wish stone to a cube or replenish it through Jianzhou. The purple, the wish stone could be put. Okay, how do I do that though? You can equip a wish stone to a cube. There are different types of wish stones that have different effects. Using a cube uses up a wish stone, but it recharges in storage when you revive or visit a stargazer. The people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle. Okay, so um, it's a wishing star. It's when you wish upon a star. The people of ancient. Is there a way really? I can? How do I? How do I change it? it? Said I could change the wish that's in there. Doesn't look like I actually can from this point. So we kind of just have to. I don't know. Let's put this there. I have no idea what it's going to do. Is this a wishing star thing? Use it somehow. Belfort break cartridge. Okay. Cool. Well, we got to find a little, it was either a gold. Noted. So we're looking for either a gold fruit coin or a gold coin fruit. <laughs> It's probably a gold fruit coin. I don't remember what he said. So we got a little cube thing that can hold stars. That's pretty cool. This looks like it could be a juicy little. There's no way it's going to make me fight a boss without a, a stargazer, right? Oh, damn. That's so sick. Hey, boys and girls. Don't mind me. I'm just going to carve through you and all your friends. That's a big boy at the end, though. Hey, dude. Oh, dear God. I wasn't ready for that. Jesus. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Where is, wait, where's the checkpoint? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damn it. No way. Oh, lies of P. Please add a few more checkpoints. This is brutal. This might be worse than any of the Souls games. Did I miss one? I may have missed one. I'd have no idea how to use the stargazer thing. Oh man, I gotta go. It's nighttime now. There's no way to dodge these guys, is there? Don't think so. This is cool at nighttime. It's very, very creepy. I'm really surprised there's not a save closer. That seems like a very far walk. 
for that, but did I miss it like in here? Did I get like overzealous? Oh, I don't see one. All right, well, we're gonna have to kill this guy if we want to uh, continue. What do we got that can help? What do we got? Okay, this does, you can equip a wish stone or cube through. Yeah, I, I don't have one, I don't think though. Rapidly charges Fable. I guess we can put that there. Use some Fable on this guy. What do we got? Uh, I don't care about the protection things at all. Like, they don't seem to do, like, anything for me. I'm sure they do. I'm sure I'm a, that's a false statement, but... All right. Here, hold this. Holy. I'm stuck. God damn, please stop. I don't understand. What the? How do I kill this guy? I do no damage to him and he doesn't stop attacking. What the frick? Oh no. <laughs> this is going to be another jump cut edit. Oh man. What the hell? I literally like couldn't dodge him because of the decay or something. Well, this sucks. I really don't like that. I guess I could just like run through all of this. I don't think they'll chase me. Damn, this is tough, yo. There should be a save point right here. Like the fact that there's no save point right here makes that run a little stupid. But we got this. Holy shit, he hits like a fire truck. My god. You are creepy, sir. Oh my god, how many attacks do you have? Frick, dude. Get wrecked. Jeez. What in the hell is that guy? Okay, that guy is nutty. I like it, though. <laughs> All right. We almost got completely fried again. His attacks are crazy. What a castle, though. I'm sure I don't miss anything, because we're going to need everything we can get going into this building. All right. Well, we've made it to the castle. 
cathedral, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hi. Oh, I see a stargazer. Saint Frangelico Cathedral Chapel. Whoa. Very, very cool. I might want to use some of these ergo things and go back and get some uh, much needed upgrades. Because <laughs> we have a lot of these things too. I don't know how much this is going to give me. Actually, probably not a ton. I'll still quickly go back and just see if I can upgrade my sword anymore. Because that'll probably be pretty... Oh, wait. Switch the cube's wish stone. Temporarily restores HP. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Now we can use it. So I'm going to go back to Hotel Krat. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I just want to go see if I can upgrade my weapon and then put some points into uh, probably stamina again. Like, I feel like I put so much into stamina, but it just seems like that's just the, the number one stat. So yeah, this, this is what opened when I came back here. So he's back and he is the one that I'm now upgrades your arm. It. Uh, let's go upgrade weapon. So we got this big bad boy, but it is way too heavy for my liking. So let's, let's upgrade this one more time. So we got that at upgrade three now. Need to find some more handles. I need to find the merchant. The merchant was selling a, a freaking bludgeoning weapon earlier and I never I bought it. That. And I should have, cause I thought you'd see the merchant a lot more. He's kind of disappeared on me. So I'm going to put a couple points into that. Give me more stamina. I'm going to put a couple points into defense because I think our defense has been lacking a little bit. This is probably too evenly spread. People are probably going to say I'm doing it wrong, but I don't care. We figure out this stuff on my own. All right, we're in Chapter 4, St. Frangelico Cathedral Chap. So we are progressing, I guess. We're not, we're not going down the wrong road, that's for sure. Let's talk to this spooky bastard. Is this a guy? Oh, this might just be the same dude. I don't think I found the thing you were looking for, though. Gold coin trees are said to blossom when plague stalks the land. P perhaps they've already bloomed somewhere in Krat. So, he doesn't have anything new. Gotcha. So if we find that gold thing he's looking for, bring it to him. What the f... F was that? Stained choir sheet music. Okay. Do we have any new, like, equipment things that we can put on? Oh, what's that? So this increases weight, but it also increases physical damage. It reduces fire damage, electric damage. Acid increase, fire resistant increase. I feel like that's going to be pretty good with the acid, considering we're in a place full of acid people. We got something else, the weight one. Increases weight limit, but it also costs... It's heavier to use. What the... Oh, I don't want to fight this thing, man. I got to follow this thing down there? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, I guess that's probably going to be the boss of this area. Little freaking acid worm thing. Really love the design of this place, though. This is phenomenal. Yeah, let's just go down a really creepy freaking cathedral that has been in, 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 infested. That's the word I'm looking for. Infested by a bunch of freaking creepy crawly guys. I do have this arm. I got to start using the arm. I'm so bad at this game. Is it really weird that there's nobody out here? There's totally people in this sludge. Oh god, that's creepy, man. Okay, well that's... Not helpful yet. Oh, it's decay. Oh, no. Okay, we have something that can help with that, though. I know that. Uh, remove it. 
uh, temporarily increases attribute resistance for decay. Let's go. Yep. You guys can come over here and play with me, though. What the? So cool, man. I love it. I love the arm thing. Cat dust. So I'm wondering if we need to turn that wheel another way so we can ride it up. This is gonna be, I hope this is like a cool little puzzle. Either way, it's still very, very cool. Hey. Nice dress. Oh, shit. What the hell are you? Yeah, you're gonna throw poop at me, aren't you? Come on, I need you to come over here so I can go fight that big ugly. What the f Oh, God. Okay, so they're not actually big uglies. They just look like big uglies. Got it. Is this stupid? Yep. Very stupid. I almost died. Sick. I wish there was a jump button. I guess I'm just too used to the last game, which was Elden Ring, where you could jump. I think you could jump. Now that I'm just kind of questioning myself. I don't think there's any way to get over there yet. I thought this would be like a really strong guy. It is not. It's just a big ugly who throws things. Okay, that's not where I want to. Can I really not get in there? Let's just, oh, look at that guy. Holy crap. What is this stuff? What is even happening? I don't know how I get on that ledge there. I'll have to figure that out. Ah. Uh, Figured it out. What? <laughs> what? What was I supposed to do? God dang, man. Oh, it's probably a beam from that little platform, right? I don't think I could open that. No, I guess I could have like walked to this beam. I don't think that's a door. I have no idea, whatever. Whatever, we'll grab this thing. And then we'll move on. That is an ugly, ugly creature. Fire seems to work decent against these guys. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, you... S no! Are you kidding me? That knocks you off? Oh, God. Oh, why are the planks the hardest thing in this game, dude? Uh, my word. This is gonna be a very interesting uh, time. Oh, man. That is unfortunate. I've put like all my points into stamina and I barely have more health than stamina or I still have more health than stamina. Like that's ridiculous. Wow. I can't believe that knocked me off the beam. Unlucky rubber ducky.
All right, 14 times the charm. This should not be this hard and it's unnecessarily complicated. Got stunned there again. I really hope I get a better weapon soon, too. I really like the blade, but I feel like I've seen some cool things online and in the trailers and stuff that I just haven't seen yet. Oh, uh, well. I need to be full health here in case, in case I get hit. I gotta run up. I'm gonna try and go to the right first and see if that staircase has. So I need to be full health. I'm gonna take one of these as well. I don't know if it'll help, but. It's fine, get up, get up, get up. No idea if anything's up this side, but we did it for now. We need to see if we can survive. So there's another way this way. Are you kidding me? Will those little inlets protect me? Oh God, I don't want to risk it, man. I don't want to risk it. I want to finish this way and see if there's a stargazer or something. Should be able to hook this guy before the other one. Get in here. Really? All right, we are now the farthest we've ever been in this. Let's see if we can continue to the point where we find a position to save it. <laughs> we did it. Well, I shouldn't say that because if we don't find a save point, we didn't do shit. Oh, for the love of God. Wait, whilst dashing jump? Oh my God, there's a jump? You got that. Tell me that just gave me that. Tell me that just gave me that. Tell me that just gave me that, and I didn't just. N just. No! You gotta be kidding me. I There's been a jump the whole time. Whoa. Okay. Oh, please don't fuck this up. Okay, it's not the cleanest jump experience I've ever ever had in my illustrious playthrough. Holy crap, dude. I really hope they just unlocked that and it wasn't in the game before because that would really suck. So everything's going the other way now. I don't like this room. Yep, I fucking knew it. Oh no. 
Oh no. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I want to save, man. Where's a save? There's got to be one, dude. There has to be a save. There's no way they're going to make me fight another one of those without a save, right? They wouldn't do that. They're not that cruel. They're that cruel. I know they're that cruel. You don't need to tell me. I know that they're that cruel. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. What's up? I want to go up. I don't know where to go. Oh, no. Who are you? Bro. This is going to kill me. I know it. Okay, so there's nowhere to go that way. Why would I ever go back down? That's what I want to know. What's... Oh, shit. I have to go this way. I'm going to have to try and kill this guy. This is going to be so hard, guys. Ugh! <laughs> I don't want to fight him. I'm so close, man. I... Oh... Oh, uh, how do I get anywhere? You know what? Screw it. Well, now I'm dead because he just pushed me in a corner. This is, this is just not, this is not fair. I might just end the video here. Oh, I don't know what to do. Like, where's the saves, man? I've climbed a giant fucking tower and you're telling me there's no saves? None. Cool. That's good. Oh, actually, I wonder if this is... Here. I might have an idea. I'm dead. I might... I may have just... I may have just made that go the opposite way, though. If, if it didn't... If it didn't save, then I'm done with this video. If I have to go up there to unlock that seek, I think that reverses it so I can climb the entire way. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, at least we've seen the fight now. And the biggest thing will just be trying to perfect parry his big slam attack. If we can do that, the rest seemed straightforward. His little shield move kind of was annoying. Also, that was our, like, I entered that room with what? Half HP and one pulse cell? I was just looking for a save point, man. But, I mean, based on a little mini boss in front of a locked jail cell, I got to think that the save point will be after. Oh, did this unlock... We flipped that switch. <gasps> oh, if this goes all the way to the top and we don't have to do the bit, like the rafter part anymore. Oh, baby. All right, we'll give this a try. I don't know if these weapons will be good enough to kill this dude. I know the sword, my sword is the best and this thing charges my like uh, special stuff fast, but we'll have to see. All right, we're gonna try and get some good um, fire damage right off the start on him see if we can get him close to stagger and see what we can do all right got a couple staggers on him or a couple is perfect ah, i missed that one Come on. All right. Oh.
Oh, baby. All right, we got him right where we want him now. Let's go. Oh, he had a quartz. Oh, wow. No wonder he was a big baddie. All right, we got... I don't know how many perfect parries we just landed there, but that was pretty dope. All right, so that unlocked the jail cell. So let's continue through here. Hopefully the save... I don't see one, but... I think we're going to progress until we find one. All right, what do we got? He was uh, he was tough. He, he's got some really uh, weird moves, but it, I think the play for that guy... Craft supply box. And expend Paladina shop. Expand Paladina shop. Gotcha. I think the biggest thing with him was parrying and not dodging because he's just too wide and that room was really short or like skinny. But hey, we got, I don't know how many perfect parries there. We barely used anything that felt so clean. We are going deep into the cell here. Oh, I think I see what I see. That is not creepy. Oh, this is fantastic, but there we go. We finally, finally beat uh, uh, the first part of this, whatever this place is called. I don't even know where, where does it say where we are if we click this? Uh, what does it say? So we just completed the chapel. Now we're down in the library, which is way deep underground. So, so a lot of really cool things here, guys, but that is a perfect spot to wrap up this, uh, this part of the Liza P playthrough. Uh, there were some challenging things along the way, but I really enjoyed uh, this episode. It was a lot of fun uh, moments. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are like and subscribe to the channel. As always, turn on that notification bell because there's lots more content from this game. And like I said, about five or six other games between now and the end of October. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.